Hey guys, so let's get started. First, I'm going to prime my eyes and that's normal. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe 35P palette and I'm just going to use this orange color and then deepen it up with this deeper orange color and then I'm going to be going in with this reddish color that is pretty dark and then I'll be going in with black into my crease to give this really deep crease look and it'll go really really well with the glitter that we'll put on our lids. So then I'm going in with ColourPop's Kush eyeshadow just as a base and just to kind of carve out my crease and get it to the way I want it looking because, you know, when you get the crease got a little uh, uh, hurt there, you couldn't see it. And then I'm going to just put down a base for the glitter and then I'll be putting this pale 3D glitter from MAC top of my lid. It looks beautiful. And then I decided I didn't have enough glitter, so I went in with this hard candy glitter in the color King Me. Because I wanted it to glow like a mofo, and so, well, not glow like a mofo, but shimmer like something. And then I just tight lined with the liner, and now I'm doing a wing, which I kind of wish I didn't do, because it did not look good at all. And then I'm going with mascara as always. Typical thing to do. And then I'm going in with two stacks of lashes. And this is because of Patrick Starr because he stacks all his lashes. First I'm putting on these texture lashes for my lure. And then I'm going in with the Vegas Snaze Shining Star Lashes. Then I'm going in with the original Anastasia Cream Contour Kit to cover up all my dark circles with uh, the pink color. And then I'm just putting on my Studio Fix foundation in the Zig Cover NW10. And this is full coverage and I absolutely love it. I'll be using two concealers. First I'm going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and Chanta Lily to spot, cover, conceal all of my spots. And then I'm gonna be going in with the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW15 underneath my eyes because I like how beautiful it looks underneath my eyes. It's just seamless and gorgeous and just glowy and it's just so beautiful. Like, look at it. And then I'm just going to buff that in with Beauty Blender also because the best thing to do in doubt is to buff out with a Beauty Blender. And I'm going to set it with the Shade and Light palette. Uh, the, the first two colors I'll be setting my under eyes with, and then the rest of my face I'll be setting with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the color NW15, and I love this powder, it's so nice, and I love using it with this Real Techniques blush brush, it just gets it all over the face, and I just like my foundation to be set and not greasy. And so then I'm going to take that deep red shade that I first used in the crease and running it underneath my line. And then I'm taking that orange color that I first used and running it and smoking it out. And then I'm just putting some shine in the eyes with a shimmer stick. And then it is time to contour as I make the craziest face possible. And I'm going in with this light, the lightest shade in the Kat Von D contouring palette. And I'm using a new brush. This is actually the Expert Face br Brush. I almost said it wrong once again. And it's supposed to be for buffing out foundation, but I found that it's actually a really good contouring brush. I really like how it basically, I don't have to bake anymore because of it. And then I'm just gonna bronze up my face just a tiny bit. And then I'm going in with my favorite highlighter and I sprayed my brush with Fix Plus because I'm following Nikki tutorials as always. And I'm just gonna highlight so the gods can see my cheekbones. And then I'll be going in with the Charlotte Tilbury blush in ecstasy, you know. And then just spraying my face, spraying my face with Fix Plus and the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this is about the point where I finished this look and I decided that I absolutely hated this lip. I just didn't feel like it went, so I took it off and I started drawing with red lip liner and then I went in with Max Ruby Woo because I thought a red lip would go better with this. 
and I can't tell if I was right or wrong, but that is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like if you like this look, and subscribe because there's always more coming. And comment down below what are your plans for New Year's Eve, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and love. Goodbye. Okay, I'm going now. Bye.